How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we're reacting to what happens if you destroy a black hole by In a Nutshell. Alright, so I'm really, really excited to dive back into In a Nutshell, man. And I always say, like, my two favorite things to talk about, like, science-wise is, like, space and your human body, you know? Like, the biology of, like, what makes you you. And, like, it's really, really cool how the last one was talking about, like, a disease and, like, your human body and stuff. And this one's talking about space, so it's really, really awesome. And another thing that I love about In a Nutshell that this definitely addresses is, like, questions that I never thought that I'd ask, you know? Like, it's just, what if we destroy a black hole? It's like, what? What if we do destroy a black hole? I have no idea. And this, hopefully, this video is a really good introduction to like just to just open my third eye, if you will, like my unlock my brain and just like unlock all of this information and hopefully like learn more from it and like jumping like use this video as a jumping off point. I should have just said that at the beginning. <laughs> Without any further ado, here is what if you destroy a black hole? Black holes can Ooh. destroy everything. The noise it's but making. can they be destroyed? Let's what find out. If we push Hopefully, physics to the absolute limit, oh my maybe God. even breaking it okay. and the universe in the process. I'm Let's sorry, donuts and bananas. Black hole about the mass of our moon in the oh, Kurzgesagt okay. labs and try oh, to rip it apart. That's a big lab. Experiment one. New kit. Okay. <laughs> big booms break things. What is so happening, man? Mood, Let's explode the, the pace world's is definitely faster. Arsenal around our black hole. Animation is also on Boom. point, man. Black Ooh. holes swallow whatever crosses their event. More brighter colors and stuff. I'm noticing. And since E equals MC squared, all what? the energy that enters that? a black hole Never increases heard that before. its mass. The mass of a black hole is proportional to its size. So oh. as we nuke out so you're black feeding hole, it. it just gets bigger and more massive. <laughs> I love science, two. man. Antimatter. Oh. Matter and matter, antimatter I love. annihilate each other. Yes. What will happen if we throw a moon's mass of antimatter at it? <laughs> Unfortunately, when an object enters a black hole, the black hole will completely delete its past identity. Whether it's made oh, of matter or of antimatter. I actually didn't black know that. Only I just thought it turned gravity, into spaghetti. You were still you, though. on the total mass energy of an object. And the mass of a particle is the same as its corresponding antiparticle. So yeah. throwing an anti-moon has the same effect as throwing a moon. Oh. The black hole just gets more massive. This deleting that, ability of black holes is that's pretty interesting. weird to it think about. That despite their size and power, black holes are, in a way, similar to elementary particles. An elementary particle like uh. an electron <laughs> is an extremely simple object, fully specified My brain by just three melted, numbers, man. its mass, spin, and charge. That's and all you need. Amazingly, the same is true for black holes. But that they profile. have a mass, they can rotate, and carry an electric charge. All Once a things? black hole forms, it doesn't matter if it comes from a collapsed star, Whoa. an anti-star, or a banana, <laughs> it will always be fully <laughs> described by those three numbers, nothing else. But if a black hole this is basically is so a weird particle, man. could we destroy it with Ooh. an anti-black hole? Experiment three: anti-black anti hole. Anti-black hole, got it. How exciting! Okay, a yes, has the same I agree. Mass as its corresponding antiparticle, but opposite charge. Since Look a black a hole has going mass on. and electric charge, its corresponding anti-black hole should have the same mass and opposite electric charge. So is this what mathematically or scientifically? Sadly, the charge will just add up and cancel out. Dude. So after the collision, we'll just get a new black hole twice as massive with no charge. Okay, we need to think. So yeah, I'm done, man. I've tried everything. Harder. Bananas mode? Can we like just shovel banana? Four, destroy the event horizon. Uh, what? It's true that a black hole can carry spin and charge, but even What's for these crazy the objects, there are limits. If the spin or the charge of a black hole becomes too large, something really weird will happen. The event Elaborate? horizon will dissolve. Uh oh. In a simplified way, that's what you're talking about before. Got it. a singularity inside, an Ooh. infinitely compressed mass with such pretty. strong gravity that bright. absolutely nothing can escape from its surroundings, not even light. This is why a black hole looks like a black sphere of nothingness. Okay. The event horizon is the outer edge of this ultimate prison. Cross it, and you'll never be able to come back. You doth be but turning when a black into hole spaghetti. Rotates, it works a bit like a spinning washing machine. It's a it's blade, dude. Let it rip. to repel nearby objects and push them out of the black hole, which doesn't happen because its gravity is so strong. But if the rotation gets too fast, this effect you will okay win there, buddy? and the event horizon will disappear. Nearby objects won't be imprisoned forever anymore. Uh -huh. The same thing happens the with pizza. the electric charge. Make and it too large banana. and our ironclad jail will break open. If we manage to did, destroy did the event succeed? horizon, the singularity would still be there. Well, and objects would still oh. naturally fall towards it. If you hit it, you would still die horribly Rip. quickly. But the vicinity of the singularity won't be an inescapable prison anymore. 
you could get as close as you want and come back. Just don't this hit it. count as destroying the black hole. Uh, that's probably Can as close as... Experiment 5. Oh. Overfeeding. All I we mean, have to do is to overcharge or Hulk's overspin dad. the black hole. We and can parasite. do this by throwing objects with a small mass and Which a lot of charge book? or angular John, momentum do. so that the charge or spin increases faster than the mass. We have to overfeed the black hole until it reaches the point where it breaks open. Oh, However, what you can happens do after this that, is the subject though? Of passionate argument oh, physicists. okay, sorry. <laughs> Think of a charged black hole. My question Equal was charges a tiny will bit each other, ahead. And the more of the same charges Ooh, you squish together, the more they push back. So let's say that we have a negatively charged like black hole and we want things. to overfeed it with electrons, for example, whose charge is far larger than its mass. The electrons will feel an electrostatic repulsion. And the more oh. electrons we throw, the larger the negative charge of the black hole will be oh, and the stronger okay. the repulsion. Big but boy brain time, the limit, dude. The Holy electrostatic crap. repulsion will be so strong that it won't allow any more electrons to come in. At this point, oh, the black hi. hole will refuse to be overfed. With the spin, it's similar. Once the black hole reaches its upper limit, it won't How go How do we force feed it? But some scientists have discovered what looks like a loophole. Oh. If an instant before the black hole reaches the limit, we throw the right amount of matter it's in one just the right chance. way, it looks like we could actually overfeed it. Most scientists are skeptical, but let's give it a try anyway. I, I, why not, man? The end. That's literally what Breaking science is physics. all about. There is a catch, though. The event horizon of a black hole hides the You're gonna tell me what happens if we so do blow it up? destroying the horizon would leave us with a naked singularity, one that is not hidden by an event horizon. Oh, gotcha. And this poses a problem. It could mean the end of Burning physics retinas? as we know it. Oh. There's a big dirty secret about Whoa, black holes. we're in Doctor Strange comics belief, now. The singularity of a black hole is not really Jack Kirby at its center. That? No. Or draw? It's in the future of whatever crosses the horizon. Black holes okay. warp the universe so drastically that at the event horizon, space and time switch their roles. You're adding Once time you perspective it, into this as well, man. towards the center means oh. going towards the future. That's why you can't escape. Stopping Interstellar. and turning back would be just as impossible oh. as stopping time and traveling to the past. Oh, my. So the singularity is soup. actually in your future, not in front of you. And just uh. like you can't see your own future, you won't see the singularity until you hit it. Oh my god. But you also can't hit something that's in your future. This narrator just played four-dimensional chess with my brain, like man. you'll experience your next birthday when it happens. The singularities that are in the future are not a problem because we can't see them or interact uh. with them. But a naked singularity it's literally be oozing out of my ear at this point. To see. What would we see? Well, the whole point is that it's impossible to know. We don't know, the man. Is I'm not even going to try to comprehend what we is might the see. Bending of space -time. Yeah. At a singularity, the bending is so radical that the fabric of space time is Music. literally broken. Music definitely space adds to this, time dude. Don't exist anymore. Yeah. This means everything broken. We're not anything. broken, but it's not there. Predicting means making a forecast about where and when something will happen. But where and oh. when have lost their meaning. <laughs> So we have an unpredictable. Oh, now we're going comic book mode into this, man. Let's energy. go. This means that anything could come out of it for no reason, from a pile of bananas, Banana. to lost socks, or a solar system. Oh, predictability, the donut? causality, and physics as we know it would break down. We think that singularities should exist in nature because we can prove that under very general conditions, <laughs> gravitational collapse very leads to the formation of singularities. However, scientists think that nature forbids the formation of naked singularities. Oh, said so. Something enforces the creation of an event horizon around them to prevent their insanity from infecting the rest of the universe. Maybe a higher deity, Without event if you will. Horizons, physics may not make sense at all. So although <laughs> That's an understatement, man. As the ultimate monsters of the universe, oh, no, they I'm really digging black holes now. Yeah. That keep us safe from the madness of singularities. Thank you. Yeah, that whatever's so inside, you keep that inside. Horizon, we might it's like the alien from Bintu, the, the, the Russian universe. one. You know what? Let's what? not do that. Oh. Conclusion. Why not? The safe option. As far as we know, there's just there's one an actual safe, safe option. To destroy though? a black hole. Wait. Uh, oh. All black holes it, yeah, emit tiny I, particles, I guess. a phenomenon they die called out, they? radiation. This process causes them to slowly lose mass until they eventually evaporate, leaving behind no horizon Love and no naked Love the visualization, though, man. The time it takes for a black hole to completely evaporate depends on its mass. For our mini black hole, That's the size everything, of a right? speck of dust, it will be about 10 to the power of 44 years. 10 billion uh, trillion yeah, trillion times what? the present age of the universe. Oh, is that all? So is it possible to destroy a black hole? Yes, we just have to wait.
Good, I, you don't have to wait that long. We, there are plenty of we, fascinating we things don't. to explore right here Maybe on humanity this planet will right now, eventually if, if we have survive that to long. Understand them. To help you with that, we've created Skillshare? a series of lessons to take your scientific knowledge Are to the brilliant. next level. Made in collaboration ah. with our friends at Brilliant.org, <laughs> these the lessons give you option. a deeper understanding of the topics from our most popular videos, from yeah, rabies cool and stuff, domain they do exactly what to climate does. science and supernovas. But more There's even schoolsy. a lesson on black holes where you can oh. delve into the fundamental oh. principles behind their behavior and life cycle. Brilliant is the best way to master key concepts it in everything from is. maths and science to computer science and beyond. Just set your goal and up Brilliant that designs the perfect path and equips you with the right tools to reach it. Brilliant has thousands of lessons to explore. See, man, like, and each one is just make all these tools like available for everybody. Video. Imagine how crazy the world might become. Exploring data visually will teach you everything you need. All these smarty pants walking around everywhere. Improving science. the world. No coding skills required. You'll analyze real data sets, like one about Starbucks, and learn the skills huh. to draw insights for yourself. Because everybody has in to do about Starbucks. With information, data skills are becoming essential okay. in virtually every Program. field. Eh. Brilliant is the perfect it was a matrix reference, I should have said it. To get hands-on with Kutz's That's beautiful, lessons man. and explore everything Brilliant has to offer, you can start your free 30-day trial by signing up at brilliant.org. I don't want the hat, though. You can There's even an extra perk for Kutz's viewers. The first 200 people to use the link get 20% off an annual membership once they're I'm actually ends. really early into this one, we so I just might. How the gears interlock I usually don't search. get to hit this. Brilliant gives you the tools to understand Banana. how everything fits together. And I guess you're the back to your limited edition age. Pin is here, kicking off the new existential dread collection. Let it's me see the it. the Wheel of Fear. Oh. If you've ever wondered how our script writing team here why? at Cross-Gazard comes up with all those unhinged ideas, I love the concept, ideas, but why would you how. want that? We simply you will spin talk. the wheel to choose the next existential dread-inducing topic. I mean, it why not, man? Black holes? I guess we'll have to obey the wheel. What? Space is infinite. Yes, let's oh. lean into this. Please? Amoeba will turn it into a video. Okay. And since we don't want to gatekeep, we turned it into a pin. So that everyone is can beautiful. get inspired by a new jolt of existential dread every day. I mean, I don't know about the it dread part, but... great on your jacket or backpack. Pre-order of this scare very the children. special limited edition pin is available for only 72 hours. Don't say hours. limited edition, so man. That makes me want to buy it. Before time runs out, add it to your collection or start a new one. The I've next never limited seen edition before. pin will be revealed soon. Gotta catch a ball, gotta catch a ball. Oh, that was a delightful video, man. Holy crap. All right, man, that's just all around, man. It's just so freaking awesome. Like, the fact that, like, all of this stuff I had no idea. Well, I knew a little bit about, rather. But, like, just all the new information that just, like, consuming inside me. Like, it was just so freaking awesome, man. Like, I think that, like, just the narrator, pretty much everything he said about Black Hole, I was just like, oh, like, <laughs> oh, crap. Like, that's really, really awesome stuff. And, like, the whole fact that, like, the thing inside the Black Hole is, like, the actual monster thing. And, like, it's a, just a, a prison, if you will. Like, the actual Black Hole thing itself, you know? So, like... That's really, really awesome stuff, and it really makes you think, like, the whole physics aspect of that especially, man. That's like some wacky multiverse drama you find in comic books and stuff like that, man. It's just so freaking crazy how it's like, that is technically a possibility, like, in not our future, rather. Like, anybody watching this video, hopefully, but, like, billions of, like he said, like, something to the power of something years later man like that's ridiculous like it's just everything about i know i'm babbling babbling at this point but i'm sorry but like that's just how my brain works after i watch like a really immersive kurtz to cat video dude it's just it really makes my brain like the gears actually rumbling and going and stuff and it's just my brain just goes from like one subject to the next one talking about like all the stuff that he talked about in the video but like it's still just like playing pinball man it's just phenomenal man and i did notice that this one was like I don't know how to explain it. It was like a bit more like up pace, like not as slow, I guess. And then like, also I noticed like it was more like the animation was like more in your face and stuff like that. There was definitely more like comic books, I guess, like pow, bam, th that stuff, you know what I mean? So like all in all fantastic stuff. I really like the direction that they're going with, you know, like especially this topic, man. This topic was delightful to watch. So thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave a like down below, subscribe, ring the bell, become a member. You get videos a day early and check out the merch. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic and I will see y'all in the next episode. Later, dudes.